Hi guys, my name is Lucia and welcome to my new dorm room. I have moved into my second year of college. I am not 100% sure if this is going to be the exact lighting and angle I'm going to be filming from. This is my first time sitting down in front of the camera since I've moved. I think this is the best angle, but I'm not quite sure. Also, I will be doing a dorm room tour very soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you cannot hear in my voice, I am sick, but it is okay. <coughs> I'm a little under the weather today, so I apologize for that, but today I'm going to be talking about why using up makeup is a good thing in hopes to end the stigma of not being able to use up makeup that is expensive or that you really like. Now, I got this idea from a video that Lauren May Beauty did. She did a video on why you should not buy backup makeup. I will link that down below. It was a fabulous video. I actually wanted to film a Make Up Your Mind video on the same topic months ago, but I couldn't think of more than two reasons, and I'm so glad that she did, so please go and check that out. Tell her I sent you. Basically, she was telling you why you really shouldn't buy backup makeup, and I was thinking about that, and it got me thinking about all the people who comment on my channel saying they either don't like to use up makeup, or I'll watch other people's shop my stash videos or just channels in general and there's this notion of I don't want to use up something that I really like, something that was really expensive, something that was limited edition, something that was discontinued and especially on my project pan videos I get a lot of comments saying oh well I would never pan this because I love it too much or I never use my favorite foundation because I love it too much. I just wanted to talk about that today about the idea of not using what you like. If you like something you you should enjoy it. If you get joy from using your favorite product, you should use your favorite product. If something was really, really expensive, use it every day. You will feel so good knowing that you are putting this expensive product that you love on yourself every single day. It will make you feel confident. You can always save up and repurchase that thing if you really, really love it after you use it up. And I just want to put a note here because I'm a project panner, you might be a project panner, but the vast majority of my viewers are not project panners. So if you don't want to use something because you are afraid you will use it up, let me just get you in on a secret here. Unless you use something every single day slash you are panning something, you probably will not use up the item if you have a big enough collection. If you have 10 foundations and you never touch your favorite one because you don't want to use it up, you're not really going to use it up if you're rotating through your stuff, even if you use it more often. Especially this goes for face products. If there was a limited edition highlighter that you never use, do you know how long it takes to even hit pan on highlighters? trust me. That should not be a fear unless you are someone who project pans. And if you're someone who project pans, then it probably isn't a fear because you understand the value of using up what you have. There's a big satisfaction of using a product every day, getting to know that product. If you love something, you should let that be a part of your routine. Now let's go to the topic of if it was limited edition or discontinued, because this one can be really hard. If you have a favorite product that is limited edition or discontinued, you probably don't want to use it because when you run out, you cannot repurchase it. Well, I just want to talk about makeup preferences really quickly because makeup preferences are constantly changing. My makeup preferences change all the time. I love something a certain way, then I don't. I love something a certain way, I think it's my holy grail, then it isn't. You might not love this limited edition thing after using it every single day for a really long time. I used to love the Anastasia and Nicole Grow Glow Kit. I decluttered that in my last declutter. That was a limited edition thing. I had hit pan on half the shades, but my preferences change and I got the satisfaction of knowing that I used it every single day for an entire year. I also want to remind you that if you do have a product that was limited edition and you love the packaging and you don't want to use it up because you don't want to throw it away, you don't have to throw away the packaging if that's the type of person you are. For me, I would never keep packaging after the product is gone because I look at makeup a certain way, but if you are the type of person who looks at makeup as a display piece, you can still display that thing. No one has to know you used it up, but you can have the satisfaction of knowing 
I use that up. Another point is there are always dupes and as we all know, there are so many things constantly coming out in the makeup industry that you're probably bound to find something you like more than that thing. I mean, if you've been using something for 30 years and it's your holy grail, I'm not here to tell you, oh, you're wrong, you'll find something better. But just in general, what I've learned is there is always a good product still out there that you have not tried. Let that be exciting. Use up what you love. And if it is limited edition, you can go find a new thing. You can find something else that's limited edition that's going to spark a different type of excitement within your collection. Another point that is really important is product goes bad. If you let something sit in your collection for a year and you don't touch it because it was expensive or it's your favorite thing, it's not going to perform as well and it might even go bad on you. I would hate to buy something, love it, not use it, and then have it go bad. Imagine that. Imagine spending $40 on a foundation and you try it on and you say, this is amazing. I don't want to use it because I don't want to use it up because it was expensive and then it goes bad. You've essentially wasted all that money and you have denied yourself the privilege of really enjoying that product because there is a fear of it going bad. Going off of that, just as a general statement, you get so much more enjoyment out of your favorite products when you use them versus denying yourself the privilege of being able to use them. If you look at a blush every day and you say, I freaking love that blush, I can't use it, I love it too much. There's not a lot of joy. The joy kind of cuts off after you look at it. But if you love a product and you put it on every day and you feel super good when you put it on and then you go outside and you get a compliment on it, the joy continues. It's this ongoing, I love that product, and then the next day you go back to it, and all over again you get to put it on. It's a deeper fulfillment of your money's worth of a product and of your collection than if it's just sitting there. Use what you have. Enjoy your products. Allow yourself to use it. You probably won't even use it up if you do have a bigger collection, but if you do use it up, it is okay. Let that product come into your life. Let yourself love it so much. And if you use it up and you can't repurchase it or it's too expensive for you to repurchase, whatever it is, let it go. You had it for that period of time and now you can move on to new things. We always tend to think we're never going to change even though we're changing all the time. Whenever we change to the most up-to-date person of ourselves, we think this is who I am now. So if you have a favorite product and it wasn't always your favorite, but now it's, it's new and it's in your life, you think this is always going to be my favorite product, but you have no idea what's going to come out. You have no idea how you're going to feel. Enjoy what you love. Use what you love. It is okay to use things up. Lastly, I want to talk about project panning for just a second because this is a really eye-opening experience. Laura May Beauty mentioned in her video about keeping back stock that everyone should project pan at least once to understand their collection better, and I absolutely agree. If you've never project panned and you don't know how long it takes to use up products, I encourage you to do one project pan once just to see what that's like. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave in the description a summary I wrote up of what project panning is and why I do it. Basically, it's using up your makeup. It's pretty mind-blowing. You don't use our products the way you think you will as quickly as you think you will. That is all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!